In Texas, deer hunting is a multi-billion dollar industry. Now the threat of a fatal deer disease has state parks and wildlife worried. KMAX Alyssa Gord spoke with deer researchers and state officials to find out about the disease that has popped up on a deer farm just hours away from the South Plains. If you were to see one in the wild, they certainly wouldn't look normal. It's like mad cow disease, but for deer. Texans are on the watch for chronic wasting disease after new cases raised red flags. In Medina County, they found a two-year-old white-tailed deer in a breeding facility that had chronic wasting disease. A research team from Texas Tech is working with deer farms on the South Plains on how to keep all the deer in West Texas healthy. Any disease is a concern. Um, but at this time, I don't think we understand enough about chronic waste and disease. This research aims to help regulators and deer farmers when it comes to diseases like CWD. But the scientists say it's impossible to know exactly how many deer have it. At this point, uh, we can't say that it's widespread in either the captive herds or in the wild herds. I mean, we don't know. So this is the skull of a mule deer that Texas Park and Wildlife found out in Hale County last year. They went and tested it for CWD because it was acting suspiciously, but this deer tested negative. There have been no cases of the disease on the South Plains, but Texas Parks and Wildlife says it could spread. As far as we know, humans can't get CWD, but a decline in deer herd populations would impact Texas's multi-billion dollar hunting industry. Parks and Wildlife encourages hunters to keep their eyes out and to cook the deer that they hunt properly. If you're out in the woods and you see a deer that's emaciated or if it's dizzy, walking in circles, drooling, acting, acting really strange, not running away, droopy ears, things like that, report that to the local game warden. Alyssa Gord, KMAC News. Alyssa Pope.